Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my wonderful and juicy and delicious little subscribers out there. And how I love you all, sir, and I hope that you're all super duper wonderful, super duper beautiful and super duper delicious. And that life is treating you oh so deliciously. So what do we do? Three, two, one, beam me up, my juice, little lats. Thank you, little lats, will you brighten up, okay? Now then, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, sorry, uh, to all of our wonderful little passers-by. Much love to you all, my delicious little babies. And I hope that you too are having a super duper and delicious time wherever you are in the world. And that life is treating you also most deliciously. Now then, our weather in our old neck of the woods in the old UK. Well, the wind is picking up, so it is rather windy actually. I've been out earlier with my beautiful and delicious little Ruby Tuesday, okay? Uh, well, yes, the wind is picking up. It was windier earlier, but it's starting to pick back up again now. It's slowed down, now it's going back again. Uh, very dry out there, and it was slightly warmer, okay? So that's that. But of course, we've been having for the past two days. The zuzums, zuzums, okay, going up at least eight, uh, eight to ten times. There we are. Okay, so completely changing things, if you get my meaning, my delicious and wonderful little babies out there. And if you do enjoy my video, please click on the like. For those of you, please feel free to subscribe. And also, if you'd like to comment, it's also welcomed. And thank, thank, thank you. Now then, let's get into this. So... I've been hearing this morning, my delicious and beautiful little uh, babies out there, right? Now, all these things seem to have happened either two or three days ago. I mean, what's the world coming to, my delicious little babies? I mean, an 82, 82 year old gentleman, okay, had, um, and, you know, I, I don't want to say it to, you know, to, to upset others out there, but I mean, he had petrol thrown over him and was set alight to. Well, I mean, God bless his beautiful dear soul. I mean, of course, you know, God love him. May he rest in peace. Well, I suppose you'd only rest in peace, wouldn't he? God bless him if, you know, if they, these, um, you know, get banged to rights. But, um, but the thing is, I mean, that, that would not be a very nice passing, would it? No. My delicious little babies, do you see what I'm saying? I mean, that's flipping horrendous. I mean, I mean, it's absolutely flipping awful. Do you see what I'm saying to my delicious little babies? Yes. I mean, I heard that and I thought, oh my God. Do you know what I mean? And where was anyone to help him? Do you, do you, oh, anyway, it was, that was terrible news. And that's in our neck of the woods in the old UK. Well, not where I live, my delicious little babies, no, okay? It was somewhere else, okay? But how terrible. I mean, God bless him. I mean, what is the world coming to? To be like that? To, to do that to another uh, fellow uh, uh, man or woman? Just to me, in this case, a, a dear gentleman. You know, you don't go around doing things like that. Oh, anyway, God bless him. Um, next thing God heard, okay? So that, that was not very nice news at all, my delicious little babies, right? So next thing I heard was um, uh, in, this is in East Ham, you know, East Ham in the old UK, right? Now, I mean, I watched this uh, short video Okay, my delicious little babies. So I watched this short video and, um, well, a fight broke out um, and it's in a shop called Lidl's. So for all of you wonderful and delicious little babies out there, you will know Lidl's is a shop, as, as we all know, yes? Well, I mean, you had uh, one man push the other, Okay. Uh, apparently, was it something to do with the either migrants or uh, immigrants or something? And because um, it wasn't very long, this video. And uh, so one pushed the other, but then it became even more violent because the one was throwing everything he could get, baskets and, uh, you know, not flipping um, plastic ones, I'd say. I'd say flipping metal ones, so that would flipping hurt in itself. But of course, then the other one started and he started throwing back at him, you know, then he was hearing screaming in the background because, you know, you've got the other shoppers, haven't you? The other customers. Bless, do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. Well, I mean, all of this 
silence. And again, this is in our neck of the woods in the old UK. My delicious little babies, do you sit to me? I mean, please do not get me wrong. I mean, there's been violence in all countries, you know, over the um, years and decades. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, but I mean, well, I, I just could not see the sense. There we are. I just could not see the sense of any of this, my delicious little babies. Do you say? Flipping crackers? I, I just think it's getting worse anyway. Then I was listening to another video, and this was, uh, now wait for this now, my delicious little babies. Please, please wait for this now, what I'm gonna say to you, yes? Uh, so this man who, um, and again, this is an, in uh, our UK, my delicious little babies, yes? Well, um, because, you know, he turned to God, God bless him, yes? And he was preaching, you know, in a town center, you know, he was, you know, spreading the word. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, with his Christianity and everything. Yes, so he wasn't hurting anybody, but um, there seemed to be quite a, a crowd that gathered, so they were listening. Anyway, so during all this, right? So this um, uh, man, right, who was dressed as a woman. I don't know if look about this, right? He, so he was dressed as a woman, right? Well, he joined the crowd, you know, and everything like that. And all of this man um, who got arrested, yes, the one who was uh, speaking, you know, uh, with his, um, what did they call it, amplifier, yes, with his amplifier, right? All he said was, you know, he was just classing uh, the man as a man. So what he was saying was, and you know, and I was listening to this this uh, morning, what this um, man was saying was, is that he said, well, you know, there is man and there is woman. So there's only two genders. Well, it's absolutely flipping bang on correct, isn't it, my Stuck babies, yes? So because he said uh, that this man is a man, so even though he was dressed as a woman, you know, and, uh, you know, he'd obviously want to identify as a woman, right? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I always say each to their own, okay? As long as they're not doing awful and disgusting and terrible things, yes? Well, if the man there wants to walk around dressed as a woman, then we'll just dress as a woman. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter how we dress it up, is a flipping man. Do you see what I'm saying to my delicious little babies? Now, I'm not here on my video to hurt, offend, or upset anybody. I am just pointing out what I regard as common sense. Sorry, I'm ticking things off my delicious little babies, right? I just, to me, it's common sense, isn't it? You see, if a man, it, say you get a man, right? Let, let's, let's just go down this road, right? Say you get a man and he's got a beard. Right? Well, if he's got a beard, he's a man, isn't he? So correct me if I'm wrong. Well, he's a man. So anyway, fast forward. So this poor man with his amplifier, he then started getting abuse off the crowd. This is how crackers and crazy it is, my delicious babies, right? It's flipping mental. And I do not mean that in the wrong sense of the word, right? He was then approached by the old Bill. So not only was he getting verbal abuse from those out in the crowd, which was totally uncalled for. Uh, rewind and start again, my delicious little babies, which was totally uncalled for, right? But on top of that, uh, one of the old Bill come up to, you know, wearing a great big flipping muzzle on his boat trace, right? And said, and asked this man who was had his amplifier, right? Who was talking about God and everything, right? And he said, he said, then you know. More or less, anything more from you, this is I'm going to arrest you. Now, this is all to do with, because he called a man a man. Even though the man was dressed as a woman, he's still a man. So, this poor man with the amplifier got uh, arrested. Listen to this, my delicious little babies. Charged and prosecuted. Simply for saying that a man is a man. 
Now, he's ended up with my delicious and beautiful little babies out there. He's ended up with community service, right? Just for saying that a man is a man. Now, I mean, that old Bill, right? Well, he's either completely thick. There we are, it seems. Brain dead and brainwashed. All in the, you know, the same flipping sentence, right? So, at the end of the day, uh, what has happened to uh, sorting out crime? My delicious little babies, you know, what has happened to sorting crime out? But that seems to go out of the window, whether it's a burglary, whether it's somebody attacking another, okay? That seems to go out the window. And then this poor man here now, gets arrested, charged and prosecuted and ends up with community service. For stating the flipping obvious. Do you see what I'm saying? This is how crackers and crazy it is and bonkers my delicious little baby is right. Because at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is, I will say it. You know, I've been brought up that a man is a man and a woman is, there we are, is a woman. So man is man, woman is woman. End of. But what they're trying to do, right, and this, this is what I'm saying, right, it's like to brainwash those that, I mean, obviously, I mean, heaven forbid, I mean, you know, if some of these actually fall for this shot, well, I feel very sorry for them. I really, there we go, I really think you do, you know. Because, you know, we shouldn't have to have our beliefs changed because they and the putrid little lackeys, right, which of course includes the old bill as well as the uh, putrid governments, right, um, you know, to try and change our minds on something that is obvious, man is man, woman is woman. I was disgusted actually, my delicious little babies, to hear this, I, I really, really was, you know, because I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, he should never have been treated that way, but do you say, but of course, you know, he was classed as, uh, sorry, he was classed as misgendering. See, this is what I'm saying, like, you hear all of these things, you know, like in the past few years, right? So you got, you know, the misgendering, and even before that, actually, you got um, misgendering, you got misinformation, disinformation, you know, all these uh, words and everything, what they, you know, they keep uh, using. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. So, you know, but anyone who's got a noddle, a brain, would know that a man is a man and a woman is a woman. And I will keep saying it. I mean, if a man and woman get together, right? Hello, dong, dong, ding, ding. It's been common sense, right? And they're blessed, you know, so I'm not here to offend or upset at any um, delicious little babies out there who have experienced uh, problems, okay? Uh, and are blessed, you know, to start a family. Well, correct me if I'm wrong here, but you need a man and a woman. Do you not? Yes, you do. So what is this silliness? And that old Bill, you know what? You know what should have happened to him, my delicious little baby? He's boot him out the flipping force, thick as shite. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But this is the world. Uh, do you see what I mean? But they're expecting, for the majority out there, they're expecting them to just slip in by it and just say, oh, yes, well, he's a woman. No. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you never heard this slipping years ago in in, uh, in gay uh, pubs and clubs. Do you see what I mean? Uh, you, you know, you had a, a man who, who's dressed as a woman. He's a drag queen. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Now, when we actually look at, you know, um, you know, because you, you do have genuine men, you know, where they, you know, they do want to identify as being a woman, okay? So they will dress, you know, and uh, for some, you know, they've been doing this over the uh, uh, decades. Do you see what I mean? Where they feel more comfortable, you know, in a frock, you know, uh, rather than a pair of trousers. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes? Well, uh I do feel sorry for them, okay, because, because you do have a number where, of course, they're roped into all of this, do you see what I'm saying, when they just like to live all quietly, do you see what I mean, and you've got the other ones who just want to be in your birth race, and that one there is in the crowd, happened to be that way, and of course, 
the crowd, that's why you call it a crowd, you know, then they started shouting and running off their mouths, you know, all against one man. Well, that's disgusting, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's something in the form of bullying as well. So now I wasn't very happy about that, listening to that story either. That poor man should never have been put in that position. Do you see what I mean? He was just, you know, all he was doing was talking about God, God bless him. Do you see? But this is uh, how I've just got broken. This is how broken there we are. Um, the world is becoming, do you see what I mean? And of course you are going to have some who are just going to go along with this shite. Well, I'm not. And I'll say it once more for a change subject. Man is man, woman is woman. There we are, end of. Okay? So just saying as beautiful little uh, uh, animals and creatures greater than small little birdies, you have male and female. Do you see to me? Simple as. So, you know, and I can only hope that that uh, dear man, you know, that he would have uh, clearly, you know, pointed out the obvious to the flipping um, old bill. Do you see what I mean? Which, of course, you know, the old bill are working for the putrid governments. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, and of course, you know who. Yes. Okay, so that's that. Now then, I want to talk about, um, because I'm sure that you will know my delicious little babies, Yes. But, um, I mean, we've known about this a long time, haven't we? Do you see what I mean? And then, you know, you've got like Ofcom where, you know, you've got certain uh, channels, you know, which we've known long time years, yes, because Ofcom just gets uh, brought in, you know. But the, th the thing is, the way I see it is like this, right? My delicious little babies now. So Ofcom can, I don't know, sort of censor or whatever they do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes? Some... But uh, not censoring like uh, the putrid flipping box in the corner of the room. Do you know what I mean? Those uh, so-called journalists, well, they're not journalists, okay? Because uh, a true journalist would not behave in that way, okay? And spew out, and you know, a load of shite, okay? So they can tell everyone to go and get the old jab, jab, jab. The box in the corner of the room. Yes, okay? And God bless Everybody that very sadly this has happened to, yes? And those, God bless the beautiful dear little souls who are very sadly no longer with us, okay? Uh, but then uh, Ofcom then can decide to, you know, uh, because this is what this is all about, my delicious little babies. So for those of you delicious little babies, you will know, but for other delicious little babies who are new to this, they will not know, yes? But anyone who uh, uh, speaks the truth, sorry, right? Oh, wow. No, we can't have that. There we are. Do you see what I'm saying to my delicious babies? Yes. Well, you know, as I always say, you know, something needs to get done about this. Do you understand what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I mean, if somebody's speaking the truth, this is a fact. My delicious babies, if somebody is speaking the truth, right, then why must they have to keep the flipping trap shut? Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? And really, in the box in the corner of the room, right, really what they should do is they should grow a flipping backbone and say, you know what, I, I know it's a job, I know it's a wage, but you know what, I'm, I'm just not going to lie, you know, um, to their viewers who are uh, listening. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, and this leads me on to something else. So I was listening to, and I do like him actually, okay? So I'm not advertising, by the way, okay? I'm just saying, I was listening to um, Tucker Carlson this morning, and he was talking to Clayton Morris, you know, on YouTube, right? And I like Tucker Carlson, do you know what I mean, in America? Not in that way, my delicious little babies, but I, I, like, I like him just a bit. He was explaining, right? that he just doesn't want to lie. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, he's a journalist, he's been a journalist for years. And he just said, you know, and he said, he even said himself, he said, you know, he says, well, he says, you know, if they, you know, if they want to sack me or something like that. And he says, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. Do, do you see what I mean? Now, if we had more of the, um, his type of journalism, there we go, right? And less of this shite. Right? Will the world be a much better place? And you would have it like, um, you know, globally, where where you've got some, God bless them, because we have to say that, right? Where they be believing all this shite. 
Do you see, like I was listening to, a, it was only on like one of the shorts this morning on, on YouTube again, and it's an Irish, and I can't think of his name now, because I never wrote him flipping down. Anyway, he's got long um, grey hair, like silver hair, yes? Anyway, and he was talking about the wars and talking about, you know, in, in other words, what he was saying, right, is that, you know, certain go into countries, yes, and they claim that, you know, whether it's terrorism or something like that. Uh, so therefore, that means that uh, thousands upon thousands of man and woman and little bairns and little babies and little animals and everything, right, that they must get um, killed. Which, of course, this has been going on for decades, hasn't it? You say... But of course, you know, he, he was pointing things, there we go, he, the, you know, that man was pointing things out. You know, what's got to, to happen here, my delicious little babies, is, is that uh, for those out there, my delicious little babies, right, they should not be supporting any war. Do you see? And this is why I said that really, you know, anyone wishing to join an army or something like that, right, well, they should just not join the army. Because it's obvious and it's very clear to see that um, nine times out of ten, especially if you're in a conflict, you know, whatever's happening, like in Ukraine, has been the most recent war. Yes, that of course, you know, God bless them, they're going to go to the passing, aren't they? Yes. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Yes. And it's no good. And this is why you find... Over the decades, my delicious little babies, that's why you find that there are a lot of, um, you know, like you have war veterans and, you know, like this, yes. And what happens is, is that they end up with um, either PTSD, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder, okay. Um, they end up with, uh, in some cases, hearing problems, yes. Um, you know, because of the loud noises, do you, do you see what I'm saying? Yes, um, they, they end up terribly, uh, God bless them, they, they end up terribly depressed, you know, because of the, the things that some of these uh, who were in the army soldiers had seen. Yes, do, do you see? But this is why I said before, and I'm saying it again, I said it on another video, another video, sorry, if everybody was to just put the tools down, that's what I call it, put the tools down. And just say, no, we do not want, no, 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 we do not want any more of this. Then, really, well, it just ends, there we go, if I even say it, it ends everything, doesn't it? Do you see what I mean? Because it's killing innocent, there we go. Do you see what I'm saying? She might have just look babies, yes. And, of course, I, myself, okay, I, I know that I would really struggle um, to sleep at night, knowing that I'd, you know, um, harmed somebody else like that. Do you understand what I mean? So this is what some of these soldiers over the decades, you know, have gone through a lot. Do you see what I mean? They do end up with depression, awful depression. And for some of them, God love them, you know, they, they've ended up uh, disabled, you know, or they've lost uh, um, arms or legs. Or Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes. And it's just so sad. Do you see what I mean? And, but none of this ever had to happen in the first place. This is something that others just want to go into somebody else's country like a Filipino bandit. Do you understand what I mean? Just go in. Uh, or like a pirate. Just go in, sorry, yes? And, and just go and take... There we go. Just take what they want. This is, this is basically what all of this is about, isn't it? If we really look at it, yes? Just thieves, thieves. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. So, you know, I just have a very different view on things. But if everybody just said, no, we're not supporting it. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. Then they've, they've got nowhere to go, is what I'm saying. Do you see what I mean? My delicious little babies, yes. Now then, um, so that's more or less really what I wanted to say, really. It was just... Just like a quick video, really. It's not really uh, long, to be honest with you. And, and of course, you know, just to let you know as well, I mean, this is a... I do not like this one. Anyway, it's as dead as a flipping dodo out there. I mean, there's just... I mean, I was walking around with my beautiful little Ruby Tuesday, right? And I'll tell you something. I, and, of course, I've got my beautiful little Maisie Moo, okay? But I was walking around, never seen a soul. Never seen a soul. 
And of course, you know, years ago, uh, well, before the old flipping pandemic and everything, yes, it was never like this, ever. Do you know what I mean? It's just, you know, I'm so sorry to have to say it that way, but there's just no sign of life. Do you see what I mean? And of course, this is continuing, isn't it? Yes. And of course, you know, we're also continuing to hear about, um, you know, jab, 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 jabs. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, so we're still continuing to hear about this. And it seems to be on a daily basis. I mean, you know, I mean, there seems to be athletes, you know, God bless everybody, but there seems to be athletes, God love them, okay, who are just, God bless them, just dropping. I'm sorry to have to say it that way, but they are. Do you say? Okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, so there's that. And then, of course, you know, there still seems to be rather a lot on the alternative um uh, channels, you know, to do with these 15 minute cities and everything like this. So, to me, so this is still uh, just close my book. So, this is, you know, continuing um, to be a very hot topic, you know, to me, because they're saying, oh, you know, we're just, uh, oh, we're just trying things out. No, they're not. No, they are not. At the end of the day, I've been saying this on my videos for a long time now, right? At the end of the day, they're not doing no such thing. What they want to do is bring things in, right? Not give anybody a say, uh, there we go, uh, in anything. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. And again, you know, I said before, I say it again. It's all about, you know, they want everything. Do you see what I mean? They do not want to, to see us out here happy at all. Do you know what I mean? They want us all cooped up in little um, cities, do you see what I mean? Little 15 minute cities, do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, and one very last thing going to say. Now then, um, I say for the past, is it, couple of weeks, I mean, I've hardly seen a plane. I've hardly seen a plane at all. In fact, one of my uh, wonderful little neighbours actually said to me the other day, said, you know, have you noticed me that just not seeing planes? I said, yes. I said, I've been saying it long time. She said to me, so that all slowed down. But the past, um, I say from, where are we now? From Sunday. So from Friday to today. Okay. So we are seeing more planes. But for the past couple of weeks, it's hardly been none. Do you say? So, you, you know, it's, it's just, what I'm saying is, right, is that really, um, to be honest with you, like I say, there's, there's all these different things. So, so unless you're paying attention to these things, my delicious and wonderful little babies out there, you know, unless we're paying attention to these things, do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, then you wouldn't know what's going on. But yes, yeah, rather surprising, isn't it? You're not uh, seeing a lot of planes. Hmm. Wonder why that is. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, my delicious little babies, okay? So, and I've already talked about planes on uh, other videos of mine anyway. So that's just the video, really, my delicious little babies. So there isn't really a lot to, um, you know, to report today. You know, and I'm very sorry to have to say, but yes, I mean, violence, it seems to be in many places. Do you, do you see to me? I mean, I went to shops in the day, and I mean, you know, God bless, you know, touch wood, and I feel very blessed. Do you know what I mean? You can, you can just walk into a shop, you know. There does seem to be a lot more now who are smiling at you. Do you, you know, if you smile, they smile back. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, or say if you get in the way of another, you know, and you're walking around. Do you see what I mean? This, it does seem to be, well, this is just my neck of the woods in the old UK, okay? But it does seem to be uh, more relaxed now, if you know what I mean. But, you know, you know, and it does help that... Uh, that they're not wearing the flipping muzzles as well. Do you know what I'm saying to you, my about this? Because, of course, if you're wearing a muzzle, nobody can see your facial expressions, can they? So they cannot see whether you're happy. They cannot see whether you're sad. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. You know, so if you smiled at somebody, you wouldn't be able to see if they're smiling back at you because they're wearing a flipping, uh, an oversized flipping muzzle on their old bow traces. Do you know what I mean? But it does seem more relaxed in the shops, to be honest. And like I say, you know, there's more who just seem to be more friendly. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, and just get back to our Tucker Carlson. I've just got to say this. So like I said, I'm not advertising. I'm just saying, um, well, he doesn't even have a television. My delicious little baby, so he does his journalism. It's funny to hear, actually. Do you know what I mean? But he doesn't have a television. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But yeah, it was good to hear him talking 
to uh, Clayton Morris. Do you understand what I mean? It was good to, it's about 41 minutes, but it was really good to have a listen to. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. Yeah, nice bloke. Not in that way, my delicious little babies. You know, and I mean that about both. Do you understand what I mean? Not in that way. But it was just nice to hear, you know, nice bloke. Do you understand what I mean? And of course, you know, he was saying, uh, you know, that he never had a, a very good uh, childhood either. You know, his childhood was rather sad. But do you see what I'm saying? So when you look at this past three years, which is what I'm saying to my delicious babies, yes? When you look at this past three years, I mean, it's like, because it is, isn't it? It's like awakenings. You see, I'm very... With me, my delicious little babies, I'm very, uh, let's just say, free-flowing. So I will, you know, speak about my emotions. Do you know what I mean? I don't hold back, you know. If, if I love somebody or something like that, well, you know, you, you tell them. That's the way I see it. Do you know what I mean? It's all about being true to yourself. And, and of course, I've known this for decades. There we go. But what I'm saying is, you know, when you hear uh, Tucker Carlson, do you see what I'm saying? Yes. And, you know, what he's saying is, is that when he tells the truth as a journalist, right, that he feels much better in his self for speaking the truth. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because what happened uh, is, right, over these uh, decades, you've had way too many um, you know, journalists, where, where they're just being taught to lie, to lie, lie, lie constantly. Do you see what I'm saying? But in the long term, it, it's not good. And it's not good. And I do not mean this in a nasty way, my delicious baby, is the way I say it, okay? Uh, but it's not good for your mental health either. Because if you're waking up in the morning and you're going out to work and you're just going out just to go and lie, well, eventually, it will catch up with you. And eventually, do you know what I mean? Either, you know, for some would I probably have a flipping, there we go, I have a flipping nervous breakdown. There we go. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, simply because they just cannot cope with the jobs anymore, with the lies. So we've yet to see with the old box in the corner of the room, sorry, yes, that uh, their time will come. It'll soon flipping catch up with them, believe you me. Do you say, oh, oh, and one more thing I want to say, that was it now. You know, in our old channel, well, of course, you know, see, my thoughts, right, I mean, whether or not it'll happen in my lifetime, I reckon it will, okay? You see, they had a really good run, didn't they, if you look at it, right? I've got nothing against the Chinese, by the way, my delicious little babies. No, I do not. I do not have anything against anybody, okay? I'm just not that type of woman, right? But I'm talking about here like business wise like uh tell a visions like uh ferns dog and burns you know uh gadgets ipads different things like this yes well you see i still say now some of you delicious and wonderful little babies out there may disagree with me but that's the whole beauty of it isn't it it's you know we do not agree on everything yes i'm just giving my views Okay, a woman with a view. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. That, um, well, I just feel that less and less over time are going to be buying, there we go, televisions. Yeah. They will. You know, so really, this um, could go a very different, there we go, could go a very different way. Do you see what I'm saying? She might delicious little babies, yes. That's all I'm saying. Okay, you know, it's like when somebody has their, there we go, somebody for even sight has their high day. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But of course, we have to look at, and of course, you know, you look at, um, like when I was telling you about that, um, uh, that uh, gentleman, that dear gentleman who goes into the binge, you know, behind the shops and, you know, sees things. Well, of course, he's picked up uh, many flipping uh, tell eye visions that have just been thrown into the bin by the shops. Do you see what I mean? And that's in our UK. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, it's got to be uh, happening in other places. Do you see what I mean? It cannot just be the UK. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So, yes, yeah, so there's those. And then, of course, uh, what about Amazon? You know, we heard about that some uh, years back where, you know, I mean, you should have seen and I watched the videos. There we are. I watched the videos on it. 
I mean, all these uh, tell a visions and all these other things, all these other gadgets and things that are just getting thrown. Do you see what I'm saying? She wants to listen to the baby, yes. So what is that telling us? Do you see what I mean? So uh, I just feel that over a certain um, length of time, yes, that, uh, yeah, it, yes, for a China, our old China, it'll become less, yes. Do you see what I mean? Because you've got more now who are watching videos, do you see what I mean? Like um, on YouTube, on BitChute, on Brand New Tube, on Odyssey, on Locals, on Rumble. Do you see what I mean? Yes. Uh, and they go to Telegram as well. Um, you know, so they're doing more. There we are, or even say they're doing more of that, aren't they? Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. So there's more and more and more who's steering. There we are, steering away. Do you see? But yes, um, so that's all I really want to say, really, my delicious little babies. Yeah, but it was good to listen to our Tucker Carlson. Do you know what I mean? But you speak from the heart. That's why I say, you know, if I love my uh, beautiful and delicious little daughters, which I do, oh, how I love them so. You know, my beautiful and delicious little friends, okay? My very small circle, 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 okay? Well, you know, I tell my dear uh, beautiful little friends, uh, beautiful dear little daughters, my beautiful dear little baby animals, my little daughters, okay? I tell them that I love them all. There we go. I tell them I love them all of the time. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? Because that is the important thing, isn't it? It's being truthful to yourself. There's too many, and I've met loads actually in my lifetime. I'm telling you that now, my delicious little babies. Believe it. Believe you me. Sorry when I tell you. Yes. I mean, for some, God bless them. I mean, they never even knew how to give a hug. I mean, I mean of course, with me, I would hug the world. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes. Uh, well, uh, excluding some. There we are, excluding some my delicious little babies, yes. But um, generally speaking, I would hug the world, you said to me. If I like somebody, I'll tell them I like them. If I love them, I tell them I love them. Do you understand what I mean, yes? And I feel in my heart of hearts so much better for doing that, do you said to me? But then, of course, when you've got ones who do not even know how to hug, do you see what I'm saying to my delicious little babies, yes? You know, because I have met... Many, there we are, who just simply just do not know how to give somebody a hug. And and it it could be a number of things, my delicious little babies. Yes, some can be um, their childhoods where, do you see what I mean, where maybe they never came from such a huggy family, if you know what I'm saying, yes. I mean, I was truly blessed because I had uh, my beautiful and delicious dear little nana and granddad. Do you understand what I mean? And, you know, and my dad. You know, and God bless them, how I love them all so, okay? Um, dear Nan and Grandad. Um, but, you, you know, I was very blessed. Do you understand what I mean? And, of course, you know, we were brought up with our dad. So, do you see what I'm saying to you? So, you know, he did used to give us lots of hugs. Do, do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But, you know, when I met others over the decades, yes, and they were saying, oh, you know, but we wasn't brought up. I mean... When you look at that, I mean, it's so sad, isn't it, my delicious little babies? I just think it's really sad because, of course, you know, uh, and, you know, what one must never be ignorant, you know what I mean? You've got to try and learn from, because, of course, my life was uh, was different, do you see what I mean? You know, I was very blessed to have hugs and do you see what I'm saying, Yes. So, you know, so that's why I always believe, you know, you're better to be true to yourself. That's what I always believe in. And I encourage others to be the same and not to hold things in. Do you see what I'm saying? Because it's like we've been taught in a world for some, yes, that you must hold things in, you know, not share, not say anything to anybody. Well, I just believe in the end, my delicious little babies, that it just makes you poorly. There we go. It makes you ill. You know, so, you know, so you should, you know, uh, feel really, really um, happy with yourself. Do you understand what I mean? You should be able to sleep at night. You should be able to, do you see what I'm saying to you? That's all I'm saying. But yeah, it was really good to watch our uh, Tucker. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, so it was a really good conversation. It was, you know, to see him um, off the camera, meaning, you know, like the news and everything, but to see him in a different light, you know, it was it was nice to listen to the conversation, you know. And anyway, like I said, I'm not advertising. I'm just saying, do you know what I mean? But anyway, 
So thank you for listening to uh, to our video, okay, for those of you who even take the time to listen to. Because, I mean, sometimes I do ramble on, but I just come out with whatever's on me noddle. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, but we need to stop this violence. And there we go. We need to stop all this violence and stop, because this is really not good for the world. Do you see what I'm saying? She wants to look like a baby. Yes, it's really not, you know. Anyway, so until my next video, sending you so much love, hugs and kisses, okay? And please continue to feel the love, okay? Please continue to give a tap on the back, a shake of the old hand, and with some juicy and delicious little family friends or work colleagues, give them a great big hug, okay? And tell them that they're wonderful, beautiful, juicy and delicious and that you love them so, okay? Because that makes you feel better as well, doesn't it? Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, you know, if you really admire somebody, you really like somebody, you tell them. You know, because we need to bring in love, as much love as possible, yes? That's what, you know, we need to be concentrating on, yes? And not keeping everything to yourself, okay? Because that's not healthy either, okay? So until my next video, wishing you a beautiful morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, okay? And please take care of yourselves, my delicious little babies, and please try and take care of others as well, okay? Because they, they will also be needing help as well. You will always come across somebody who'll be needing help, okay? So until the next time, much love, God bless, take care, thank you, goodbye.